This is true. And welcome to my channel. Oh, just got back from Wendy's. Time for another fast food review. Here's Mr. Pumpkin filling in for the old Mr. Pumpkin. Well, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and maybe like the videos. And feel free to comment. Tell me what you think about this food we're trying today. If you Have you tried this before? It's called a, the Wendy's Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Before I get into that, oh, this is not a new food item either. It's been around for a while. Before I get into it, I want to give a, a really quick shout out to a channel. It's called Hungry Bang, and I couldn't find the lady's name. Well, she did a she made a, uh, a video, it was called uh, Elders Doing ASMR. Elders Doing ASMR on the Hungry Bang channel. So there were five or six older people that were, that were sort of, uh, you know, them doing ASMR. Some was ASMR and, some, and mostly it was just food videos, but they included a couple doing ASMR. So. Uh, there were two guys on there, me and, and ASMR Morpheus. And the thing is, you see, my little channel has barely 4,000 4, subscribers, but every other channel had over 100,000, and some had three, four, five hundred thousand and more. So I really appreciated being included in that, my small channel. So. Thank you, Hungry Bang. Okay. Like I said today, we're, we're doing the Wendy's Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Of course, this is a permanent menu item. It's been on there for years, I guess. But you're all, maybe you've all heard about the chicken wars between like Chick-fil-A and Popeyes. Kentucky Fried Chicken, Wendy's Popeyes probably being the most infamous or famous. So here we are, and this, no, let, me, let me reach in my bag here, the food transport module. One time I wish they would forget forget an ingredient. Anyhow, this cost me it's supposed to be seven twenty nine, but then it's a combo here that you can get. It's called the Combo Pequeño de Pollo Picante. Oh that wait, that's in Spanish. It's a spicy chicken small combo, five dollars. So with the it was, uh, yeah, five dollars exactly is what they charged me. I don't see any senior discount on this. I try to remember to ask, and I think they give one. Anyway, you get the uh, spicy chicken sandwich, the regular size one, and what else do you get? French, small order of fries, and a drink. such a slow eater, you know, kind of a modest eater, but I'll be lucky to finish this. So here we are, a little Wendy, who's the founders, the 
founder's daughter. The founder of Wendy's, Dave. Because that's when she was a little girl. Let's see if they put the mayonnaise on here. Yeah, they did. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Here's a close up on it. It has the, okay, we got our buns here. We have ample mayonnaise. What I'm gonna do. I will not have any mayonnaise. Of course, it's too late now. It's pretty much on there. There's the tomato. Oh, got it all. Wish I had said something about that. And I forgot my senior discount too. The inside of it. I couldn't get much of that mayonnaise off. The chicken. Maybe that's just kind of a spicy kind of a, of a dressing there. There's a tomato there. You can't see it very well because it's covered with mayonnaise or sauce. And you have the, the uh, lettuce. Anyway. It'll be okay. Let's see. This is spicy. That was a spice. Is it the chicken or is it the sauce that's spicy? I'm already thirsty. Julie, this is a spicy sandwich. And that's a good thing. say it's a good thing. You see, one problem for me is I have to restrict my water intake because of high potassium. For the first time in my life, there's something I had no idea even, a problem that I had no idea even existed until just a few months ago. It's called hypopotassium something. I don't know what it's called. Mm-hmm. Well, the chicken has a good flavor. I don't know if the heat's built into the chicken or if it's built into the sauce, but it's still good. Lettuce is good. I mean, it's fresh. Taste that tomato just a little bit. <laughs> I'll be lucky to finish this sandwich.
Whatever kind of sauce it is, it's too much. If, it's, if the sauce strips out the side of the sandwich, that means it's too much, okay? And you can see here. See, we have a little bit of drippage there. And that means it's too much sauce. Never put so much sauce on the sandwich that it's dropping out. And that was about the first customer. I was there at 10.30 when they opened. bit about this sandwich. Wendy's says it's a, a juicy chicken breast marinated and breaded in our unique fiery blend of peppers and spices to deliver more flavor inside and out. Cooled down with crisp lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. It's the original spicy chicken sandwich and the one that you crave. This bread is really fresh too. That's always a plus for me because I like bread. You can tell another way to tell when there's too much sauce is when the is when the meat or when the sandwich sort of kind of drifts around there on the bun. This is a serious problem. <laughs> Hoping I don't get any of this on my nice suit. This is the coolest day of the year so far. It's about 70, 70, 3, 4, 5. So it's the coolest day for this fall, for the new season coming up. By the way, the nutrition on this has five, 500 calories, 990 milligrams of sodium, 19 grams of fat, and 65 milligrams of cholesterol. And is living up to its name, spicy. The only negative to this sandwich is that it's too much mayonnaise. In fact, I will not eat this part of the bun. See, it's falling apart because that part of the bun is soaked with mayonnaise. Wendy's, I love your sandwich, but you just put too much sauce with it.
Yes. It's so disappointing. Look. Okay, I'm through. I might eat the pieces of chicken. I will finish the chicken with a fork when I finish the video. And the bread is really good. I'll have the, the piece of bread on the bottom that doesn't have the sauce on it, doesn't have the mayonnaise on it. That's about all from here. This is a windy spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, it's The spice is perfect. It'd be a beautiful sandwich if they just didn't put so much mayonnaise. I mentioned that before, I might have. And I forgot to tell them to not put mayonnaise. It's just kind of a general comment, though. I think, you know, I just think it's too much for anybody. Such a good sandwich, too. Well, by the way, a couple of subscribers asked me, do I dress like this all the time? kind of dressed up I guess well yeah I guess I really do except in the summer I wear I wear short pants I still dress pretty well almost all the time if I'm going out somewhere I certainly do I mean I don't mean not to dinner or anything special I mean if I'm just going out I'll be dressed pretty nice but it's so hot here that you can't wear you, you can't wear nice coats in the summer. Now I wore I, I dressed nice when I was working, but then again my office there was freezing cold. Being a government office, it was the heat was and the cold was not really distributed properly. So, but, but in my office, my end of the building, it was just cold all the time. It was cold in the winter, freezing cold in there. And in the summer, it was also freezing cold in July. Freezing cold. I bought some special slippers to wear in there in the winter because it was so cold. But anyway, I digressed once again. This is Trip, and I wish you the very best in everything, and we will see you later.